Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome to Pure Brain Joy. During the time of the Holy Prophet peace be upon him, some Arabs went to a Jewish scholar and asked him, what question should be asked of the Holy Prophet so that the truth of his prophethood would become clear? The Jewish scholar asked Holy Prophet three questions. One of them was, who were Ashab -e Kof? To answer that, Allah Almighty revealed Sarah Kof in this Sarah, Allah Almighty explains the whole incident of Ashab -e Kof. Anyone can read the translation, can understand the story of Ashab -e Kof. Here is the brief of the complete story. According to this, it was the era of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, when Allah sent them to present day Palestine to preach Islam. During that time, that area was included in the Roman Empire, and those were idolatrous people. Here was the rule of a Jewish king, who was working under Roman Empire when Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, started preaching there. The Romans turned against him, and they tried to hang him on the pole. But by the order of Allah, he was taken up to heaven alive. So, after some time, the Jewish people started a rebellion against the Roman government. As a result, King Titus got angry and attacked Jerusalem and al -Quds and killed millions of Jews. He completely destroyed Jerusalem and al -Quds. And after that, the few Jews who remained left Palestine and only the Christians remained in Palestine. During this time, there was a king named Dukianus, who was a Roman and an idolater. Anyone who preached the worship of one God would be burnt alive or tortured to death. At that time, there were only a few people left from the followers of Prophet Isa peace be upon him. So when the king found out about them, he called them to his court and said, I am giving you a few days respite. Abandon this religion or you people will be killed. When these people heard the king's threat, they became very worried because they could neither fight the king nor preach the religion there anymore. And if they stayed there, the king would kill them. So, they went to a cave to save their lives. They slept there as were very worried and tired. But despite all of that, they don't lose hope on Allah Almighty. When the king came to know about them, that they went to a cave to save their religion and their lives, he became very angry. In state of anger, he ordered to build a strong wall outside the cave so that they can't come outside and would die there. But the man whom he ordered was a very humble and kind-hearted person, but he had to fulfill the order of king. So he built the walls there while building the wall. He puts the details on a stone about a Sabikov and put it over there. He made two copies about their detail. The second one was in the royal treasure. A Sabikov slept there even 300 years passed while they are sleeping. During these 300 years, the King Ducianus died and many kings were replaced. Even Roman Empire became Christians. After these years passed, there is a king called Badrus who was very humble and kind-hearted during his time. Religious sectarianism had reached its peak and the belief in Day of Judgment and life after death was disappearing among these people. He was very worried to see their situation. Even one day, he went to his room at a state of anxiety and locked himself in his room. He used to pray to Allah that, O oh Allah, guide this nation of mine on the straight path. They should believe in resurrection and life after death. And the existence of one God, Allah Almighty accepted his prayer one day, a goatherd was grazing goats near that cave. He saw that cave. He with his fellows fell the walls of cave. Such awe and fear fell on them, that they all ran away from there in panic. Then a sabi cough awoke from their sleep, and greeting to themselves, they felt really hungry, that they sent one of their companion named Yamlika to go nearby village and bring something to eat and check the circumstances. When he went over there, he was stunned to see that Islam is being discussed everywhere. He went to a market. He bought some food, and when he gave the money to the shopkeeper, in exchange for the price of the food, 
shopkeeper was surprised to see that coins. Obviously, it was 300 years old coin. When he saw this coin, he realized that this man had got some treasure, so he handed him over to the soldiers. The soldiers started questioning him and said, Tell me where the treasure is. Yamlika answered them that, He don't have any treasure. It's my own money. The soldiers said, Why should we believe you? That this coin is about 300 years old. So tell us the truth. Yamlika questioned, Tell me, Where is King Duckianus? The soldiers replied, There is no Duckianus named King here. In fact, about 300 years ago, there was a cruel king named Duckianus. Yamlika was stunned and replied, But yesterday, I and my friends ran away from him to save our religion and lives, while the rest of my companions are still in the cave. Why don't you guys go and see for yourself with me? They went to the cave with him. On the other side, a sabi calves were waiting for Yamlika, but when the time passes away, they think that the King Duckianus had arrested him when they heard the noises of people. They think that those were the soldiers of the King Duckianus. So, they started praying. When the soldiers arrived there, they caught them. They also saw that stone. They read the details that were written on the stone. It spokes. Their names and those are the people who were faithful and they came to cave to save their lives and their religion but the King Duckianus closed the walls of the cave. The soldiers were stunned to read that. They told this to the King Badrus. When the King heard about this, he was very happy and he immediately did Sajda and thanked Allah Almighty. He went there to meet them after some time. They sent greetings to all the people and the King and went back to the cave and slept during their sleep. Allah gave them death the King Badrus built their graves in that cave. There is a conflict that majority of the people narrated that. Their cave is in Ammon, which is located in Jordan, but some also narrated that it's in Turkey. What's the reality? Allah knows the best. There is also a little conflict about their quantity, but see what Quran says in Surah al kaf verse number 22. Some will say they were three, their dog was the fourth, while others will say they were five, their dog was the sixth, only guessing blindly, and others will say they were seven and their dog was the eighth. Say, O Prophet, my Lord knows best their exact number. Only a few people know as well. So do not argue about them except with sure knowledge. One nor consult any of those who debate about them. The King Badrus established a mask in front of cave. People also visited their graves for Fataya. Hopefully you guys would enjoy the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video. Masalana.